Hello everyone, this is John Hood, and today I'm going to walk you through the new chat and channels experience in Microsoft Teams. Here, on the top, just in the chat experience, you'll notice the tile on the side is just chat. There's not one for Teams. Everything has been consolidated. Teams and channels, chats, they can expand and collapse, and then favorites. And each of those drop-downs has a more options button, and you can choose to show different versions of that and sort and filter differently if you want to. And here in the Teams and Channels section, when you click on the three dots, you get list options. So you can show both Teams and Channels or just Channels only. I'm going to go back to Teams and Channels though. On the top, there's a new section which is App Mentions. So this has one interactive area and you can check out unread ones. Make sure you're caught up. Up on the top, we have filters. This is where we have things like unread and these toggle on and off, by the way. So we can do chats that are unread, for example. Channels, you can filter by meetings. And anything that you've muted, if you click on the three dots, the more list options on the top. And you can even turn off things like those filters or discover. From here, it's easy to search. One of the coolest new features is the ability to create a new custom section. So if you click on the drop down here, you can choose new section. And I might call this one maybe content creators and create one. And actually I have a group chat with the core of content creators. So I'll put that right in that section. So there we go. Chats and channels all in the same place. Consolidated in one tile here. There's no more teams tile. And if you don't like it, maybe you want to go back to the way it was, you can click here and go to customize view. What that does is takes you to the settings area and it brings you right to chats and channels. Right now, everything is combined. That's the new chat and channels experience. But if you want to have them separate again, you can click there. So now I have chats here. But when I go to teams, we're back to having them separate. There we go. That's a brief overview of the new chat and channels experience in Microsoft Teams.